Cheers. I'm sharing a very generous confirmation from the Lord that he gave to my son. It was a confirmation of a message that I recently shared with you all entitled The Coming Storm, where the Lord gave me a word and highlighted Matthew 10:19. It says, But when they arrest you, do not worry about what to say or how to say it. At that time, you will be given what to say. And I will post the video that I am referring to in the description box. And um, my son did not hear anything of that video, so um, praise the Lord. Um, it looks like the Jesus Christ Church. You mean the the, the you mean the, the Jehovah's Witnesses yeah. church that we drive by? Uh-huh. Okay. And then. Except with three floors and. You were in a building that looked like the Jehovah's Witnesses building. Not in it. You were outside it where there was a ditch? Yeah, it's like they wanted me to join them and like destroy all good. Destroy all good things? Yeah, and like they're, it's like they were hiding it and they wouldn't allow me to tell anybody or they would kill me. And then I warned everybody, my teacher and everyone in my class, even you. And it was like... So, was it a, do you think it could have been a nightmare? Like, just a nightmare? You said you weren't scared, though. I wasn't scared because I knew I had God with me. It's like a warm feeling that I felt last night. It was that same warm feeling that I felt in me last night. You mean after we prayed? Uh Uh-huh. And the angels came in the room? Yeah. And then you had the dream? After that. Right. And then it And in the dream you still night. felt and then that I peace? Figured out, yeah, I still felt that peace. Um and then I realized that and then they were just taking away all the humans and I'm like, wait, what? Like destroying all the good guys. Like they didn't want any of the good guys on the earth. They wanted the earth to be all their way. Oh. And you didn't see what they looked like, you said, right? Uh huh. And were people, were other people scared, or do you think they just were going along with it? Yeah. What? Uh, they didn't know. Yeah. They didn't know? What, what evil they were doing, like how bad it was. I'm like, okay, I guess we'll go with them. Well, I guess we're going to die if we don't, so why not go with them? That's what they were like. Wow. Okay. But you were willing, you were willing to risk your life? Yeah, I, d- I just ran, I'm like, and I was, I was running to, in the secret, in the quiet place, in the quiet hour I wait only for you, oh Lord. You ran away it from the- It was the first song you ever sang when you first got the guitar oh, and you were it? testing it out. What oh, was the first one? It's a good song. So you ran away to the secret place. Uh huh. Hmm? Uh huh. Run to him. The world's a dangerous place, but it's not when you have God. Amen. The last couple of years, the Lord has been <laughs> telling me the same thing. He keeps saying, "Come into the secret place." Because it's where so, we, it's like a, it's it, where we get well, our armor. Show my brother. And pr- yeah, and that's where, I, and then when you I can show my brother. Just a minute. And then I stood up to them. What did you mean? What do you mean you stood up to them? I'm like, I'm with God. You're not. And and I was turning them to go with God, but they were mm. refusing and were being all stubborn. The guys. So. What do you wish you could tell the people in your dream that were either scared or going along and that are scared and going along with things? What do you wish, what did you want them to know in your dream? I wanted them to know that God's got them under your wing, under your wing, I'm under, I'm under your wing, <laughs> you got me, you cover me, you, you cover, cover me. me. Under, I'm under, under your wings. Me under.
under your wings. Is there anything else important about the dream? Yes. What? Bye. What else, honey? It was, it was it's like, over. no, it was like, nobody was really understanding. It's mm. ever. You were, but nobody it's over was okay. really in real understanding. Nobody was, wow. nobody was getting it. Okay. And that's it's when I realized, crazy. there's no, that's when I'm like, I'm, I'm safe with God. Yeah. So you didn't need anybody. You didn't need anybody's company. You didn't need anyone to go along with you because you were safe with God. That's a good message. Let's just thank the Lord and pray that, you know, he continues to give us his peace and joy and, and his leading and just thank him so much, you know, that he did. I was feeling I was praying outside. I couldn't sleep last night, so I was praying outside your room. And I came in and I prayed over your beds too. See, that was the warmth. Yeah, yeah. But there's still yeah. other people on my side. I'm not the only one. And plus, God's in charge of it all. You're right. It can sometimes feel like we're alone, but there are uh, other people who do love the Lord as well. And regardless, we have him.